Voltage. Of voltage. Absolutely. And that's probably the, the most, I guess the most common mistake a lot of guys try to do is, is you know, we're talking about voltage drop in terms of percentages, but it's a percentage of whatever the system voltage is. So that's going to be a number that will change based on whether it's a 120 volt circuit or 240 or 208. I mean, those numbers of system voltage is really representatively that 3% is just what we don't want to lose out of that, which is that number of volts that this thing gives us. And like, for example, that 15.62 that we just had is the volts that we lose, not, not the percentage. Now, we converted the percentage. So in other words, you have to kind of do the reverse conversion. So if I have, in this case, a 240 volt service, the most I want to lose on a branch circuit side of then is going to be 3% of that, that, that number. Right? So you take 240 volt and uh, multiply that times 0 0.03, and what do you get? And so, I, you know, I'll tell you, I, 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 I quit fighting it after a couple of years and said, you know what, I'll tell you what, I'm just going to give you a sticker. Stick every those stickers, right? This has got all your, we only have about five common voltage systems in, in the U.S. that we use. And so to, to keep the math a little easier so you don't have to struggle with it, this goes kind of nicely down in the bottom of you know, page, the page that's right next to it. And this is what that VD represents. So all you have to do is just kind of refer back to it. If you, if for some reason don't want to put that in there, then you know, if you look at the top there, I've got 3%, 2%, 5%. So I've got all three of your losses, and the system voltage is on the uh, column there. So that in this case, we're looking at a 240 volt, 3%, 7.2 volts. All right? Take the sting out of it. I think you already got one. All right, and that's what that sticker's for. You only use it for uh, you know these types of formulas. And, and so if you see a VD anywhere other than that original example, which is the original first one we did was the number that we got was the equivalent of what this is. And of course, that case it was six percent instead of any one of these, and that's over what this is. So that's the maximum amount you're going to lose on any one of those system voltages. And in this case, a 240 volt, three percent branch circuit, you're looking at 7.2 volts is what you put in there for that number. So now that you know that, that makes the rest of it pretty simple. 7.2 here, the 2 being the same, the 12.9 being that it's copper. It does say it's copper in it's on sale. So we'd safely use copper, then it doesn't say, and then the I being how many amps? 30. 30. Is it? Is it really 30? What, what were we talking about yesterday on continuous duty? What's the definition of continuous duty? More than three hours. More than three hours, right? And so they're telling you there in the question that it runs three to four hours a period of time, it's continuous duty load. Any time that we have a continuous duty load, the, the reason why this is important to us is because wire has resistance, right? The higher the current flow in that wire, the higher the resistance value becomes over a period of time, excuse me, the more amount of heat that it produces because of that resistance value that's in there. And the additional heat load or the additional thermal impact will cause an additional resistive value to start increasing in that wire. So sometimes it gets so bad that you have a, almost a thermal runaway effect where it just gets to be where the heat creates more resistance, the resistance value creates even more heat and so on and so forth before you know it get a fire, right? So what we're talking about with continuous duty, really we're worried about that wire itself. So most of the time that we do a, a continuous duty consideration, and increase the value, we're talking about the wire size that we're doing uh, the, the basis on. Because if I increase a wire, then I do away with the resistive value and the heat losses and things like that, so I'm not worried about it any longer as far as, you know, the, the, the amount of heat or additional heat that happens. So, you know, we look at this, you know, voltage drop, not necessarily in what it means to, to us as, as electricians, but really the guy that's paying the energy bill, or electricity bill at the end of the month, you know, a voltage drop of, of 6%, may not have a noticeable or, or might be a negligible effect physically, but the heat losses over the time period are, are a lot. And you'd be surprised how much money it costs over the course of you know, 10 years or so uh, in, in those types of, of uh, issues. But in this case, this is going to be a continuous duty load. So we're going to use a number of 125%. And this number right here, guys, is, is one of the big, did, we, did I give that to you yesterday? I don't think so, did I? We just talked about it, but I didn't give you a percentage. If you have a continuous duty calculation, it's going to be that load value times 125 percent, so that we compensate for that additional heat. Okay, and that's going to be a number that you'll use over and over and over again. Anytime you have a continuous duty load, bam, 125 percent. Okay, 
So that plus the square root of three, which is what I've written up there a minute ago, that 1.73, those two numbers right there, you need to stick them in, in, in your brain and, and, and just, just know that those are important numbers. Now as far as when to apply them and how to apply them, we'll get there over the course of the next two days, we'll, we'll get uh, to it. So what I'm saying is if I have a 30 amp motor that runs in three or four hours, really what I have is a, an increase on the demand of that wire that is a 25% factor, which is what, uh, seven, so it's 37.5 amps then, is really what my actual demand on that wire is. Not 30, it's 37.5 because of the length of time. So that's the other part of this question that's kind of a little, it's a real example of something that you know we do consider in the field. So if you take that 30 amps to 37.5, that's going to change your, 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 your layout of the problem just a little bit. What's the distance? 200 feet? Let me give it a distance. Give a distance. Oh, that's what I'm I'm sorry. I wrote that up here. We need to run it down here. We're looking for this number here. We're not looking for uh, wire side. I'm sorry. It's distance. Put this back up. If I'm looking for distance, then I'm just erasing that. It's this problem here. So this is going to be your wire size. Your 7.2 goes here. Sorry about that. Uh, this is the question mark here. So it's going to be 2 times the 12.9 times 37.5. That's what you get for reading and then walking over the board, I guess. Maximum length of conductor. And that's the first thing on the that question. Well, it should be pretty easy. Maximum voltage is always going to be the conductor number 10, 30 amp FLC. So that's the setup, right? Divided by or divided into uh, what's the circuit mills are number 10? 380. So these two numbers multiplied across, and then this block here. If you're looking for a bottom number, it's always divided into the top number. <clears throat> so 10,380 times 7.2 is 74,736. And divided by the bottom uh, group there at 25.8 times 37.5. So 25.8, if a lot of you probably are going to have, you know, single phase uh, copper wire. Two times 12.9 is going to be the same number in a lot of steps. So those two both like gives 25.8, and that's something that if you want to write that down, you write 25.8 and. Uh, 42.4 are the two more common calculations because if it's a single phase, it's going to be one of those two numbers for that first two block. But so the bottom there being 920, or 97.5 divided into 74,736, what do you get? 77.24. 77.24? Even? Uh, well, Again, like we had the voltage drop being in voltage, it's going to be in feet. So if I'm rounding up or rounding down into whole foot numbers, which is usually what they do on the test, would I pick 78, 77, or, well, whatever the other two would be? Would you round up or would you round down here? Round down. Yeah. <laughs> do I get what? Up and down. Yeah, um, who said down? That's correct. And what we're calculating here then is the maximum length then. So if you round up, then that kind of goes against what we're actually calculating now. And sometimes you kind of have to look at a question just like that. Am I doing a maximum or a minimum? If it's a minimum, then it would round up. If it's a maximum, it would round down. So in this case, being a maximum length would be 77 whole feet in the end. I'm going to work another one just like that since I kind of messed up this one just to make sure that this is solid so that uh, uh, it's clear. And if you have one of these on the test, it will probably be this one right here. So if you're looking for a wire size, that's exactly the same. They give you one on the test that is kind of the same deal, but they, they don't give you, you think they don't give you enough to, to, to make it work out. Let's see if I can remember here. It's going to be a motor that's 13, I think it's 13.2 amps on this motor load. And it's a branch circuit, so you don't want to lose more than 3%, and they give that to you. And I think they give you the wire size as a number 10. And that's all they give you. They're asking you what's the maximum distance then that number 10 can be given that amount of information. 
Now this is voltage drop, circular mills, and 2KID again, the D being what we're looking for. So it's the bottom mirror image we're looking for a uh, length conductor. I have a question. Mm -hmm. On the example we did a while ago that uh, it's a continuous load, and so we raise it up to 25%. The example that we have before that is a heating element. Mm -hmm. This is also a continuous load. It can be, but if you look under 220.51 on uh, uh, page 64, 65, not all meters are continuous duty, so I mean, they didn't specify what it was. They also